Hey, welcome to the channel. My name is Jason and today we're going to be talking about kit bashing within the core engine. So what is kit bashing? Kit bashing is, I've got a great example. Kit bashing is like Lego. This model, for example, is created from different little pieces of like rectangles, cylinders, circles, squares, planes, just different pieces, different models. And in like the core engine, for example, we have a similar thing called primitives, uh, which of course is squares, rectangles, blocks, triangles, numerous different shapes and meshes. Um, and from those, we can bash them together. So kit bashing to create something like this, or even something like a house, a bridge, whatever you want, we can do it. Uh, so that's what we're going to look at today very briefly on how kit bashing works and how to group meshes and models together. So let's get into it. If you haven't already, first let's open up core. We're going to go to the create tab and we're going to create a new project. However, if you have been following along or had followed along with the basic Lua tutorials, I recommend continuing with that project. Um, otherwise, yeah, go to create new. We're going to go browse projects, collect thon, just type in collect and there's a collectathon framework that we're going to use. So let's just download that and we'll call it kit bashing tutorial. Awesome. So once that's opened up, um, you can see we've actually got a game already. So if we press play, you can run around, collect all the pickups. And once you've collected all the pickups, the player will win. So today's kit bashing, we're actually just going to change what the pickups look like. Just a side note, if you do want me to create a breakdown of how this collectathon game is set up, please let me know in the comments below and I'll do that. But you can also check out the basic Lua tutorial uh, series and that goes through the whole setup of this. Since you want to change the item pickup look, we want to select one of these item pickups and you'll see it takes us straight to the geometry um, of the item pickup. So let's make sure we pull that out and we're just going to right click and de-instance this object so that it's open for editing. So once we're focused on the pickup, we need to decide what we want the pickup to actually look like. So that could be very themed to what you want this collectathon game to look like. For me, I want it to be almost like a Jurassic Park, like adventure park. So I'm gonna make these eggs actually, sorry, these balls look like eggs. Uh, so to do that, we're going to kit bash. So to start the kit bashing, we wanna go down to core content. Let's move this up. We're going to go 3D objects and then basic shapes. From here, we can create many objects um, that look very different. It could be a house. It could be a pipe network. It could be, it could be anything you really want. It's going to take time and practice to learn the ropes on how to create these things, but I'm going to keep it simple today. So to create this egg, I'm actually going to scroll down and use this teardrop. And we're just going to drag that into the scene. Let's just zero that off. Zero position, zero, zero, zero. F to focus, let's move it aside a bit so we need to see what we're looking at. Just adjust some of these windows and then if you go to properties and scroll down, you can go to the material, just double click that and I'm just going to give it a basic material so we know what we're looking at currently. So basic material, I'll just keep it white as well. So from here we can see we've got some sort of shape happening. Uh, so we're going to edit this, so make sure it's selected, press R, and you can stretch that however you want. So let's play around with those settings, so you've got the Z, uh, the Y, and the X, so that correlates to the positions, rotations, and scales in this transform of the object. So as you can see, if we scale to the right, the scale on the x-axis increases, same for the y and same for the z. So press control z to escape all those. So I'm pretty happy with it being a scale 111 at the moment. Um, so what we're going to do instead, we're actually going to duplicate this. So control C and control V to duplicate. And then I'm going to press E so we get to the rotation. And we're just going to rotate that 180 on the Y. So you can actually type in 180 and we'll do the same thing. While it's selected, we're gonna press W so we get the movement arrows. So we're just going to move this up. So we have something, something happening. We have some sort of shape happening. We're just gonna scale that down. Go back to the other one, scale that down. And just kind of manipulate it until it looks like the object that you want it to look like. So I'm just going to tidy this up.
All right, here we are with the egg. So we can select both these objects by control clicking both. And as you can see, they move together. So we've got something that sort of looks like an egg. It's not great. I'll give it that, but that's fine. So from here, what we want to do is, yeah, make sure we collect them all. Collect them all. I mean, select them all. Uh, so in the hierarchy, we can select one, control click the other. And once that's done, we're going to right click and create a new group containing these, which we'll call egg. And we'll call it geometry after it as well. So we just know this is the visuals. It hasn't got anything else to do with the actual interaction of the object. And press enter. Awesome. So now that we've got the egg happening, we can also scale the folder. Uh, sorry, the group. So let's make it a bit smaller. And the best way to do that, I personally find, is press R when it's selected. And just scale that down. Awesome. So now we got something that looks like an egg. Sort of. Not great, but we'll take it. Now they've got the basic shape down pat, let's um actually play around with the materials on this object to make it a bit more interesting to look at. So we're going to go down to the geometry, select it. And what we can actually do here, so we've got the same material and the same object, we can select them both. Go down to material, just double click and we'll just play around with what we've got. It's good to just put it to the side as well so we can just see the changes happening as we're selecting. I'm not hating the look of this roof around shingles. So let's select that. We'll untick smart object. And now we have like a dragon scaled kind of object. So what smart object does is if we move this object, you can see the material actually like kind of wraps it's almost like it's moving, but if we untick it, it stays the same. So that's what we want for this object. So now that's that selected, we can also change the colors if we want. Um, we can make it darker. It's going to be a bit funny because the base color is already orange. But yeah, you can just play around with that. Let's try and make it a green. It's a very green. It doesn't matter. Let's leave it as that for now. Another thing you might notice in the base material after we untick the use smart material is the U tiling override and the V tiling override. Uh, so these are known as UVs. Um, I won't go into detail here, but if you want to look into that, feel free. Just look up UV maps um, and you should find a lot of information on that. So what we can actually do here is play around with these settings. And as you can see, the material changes. But I'm just going to reset these to default and leave it at that. So now we've got the egg happening. Let's make sure these are zeroed because we want them on the center of the group. Let's manipulate that a little bit. All right, cool. So now it's in the center of the group. From here, we want to add the egg geometry to a pickup. So in this case, this item pickup, so I'll just drop this. Within this item pickup, under geometry, we want the egg to be here. So to easily do that is select this egg geometry, click and drag, and place it underneath the geometry. So close that folder just to make sure it's actually there. Awesome. From here, we want it to be zeroed to the geometry. So let's go to the egg geometry position. Just make that zero, zero, zero. Focus on that. And as you can see, it is inside here somewhere, but the ball's too big. So just click on the ball. I'm just gonna delete that. Let's scale this up a little bit so it looks a bit bigger. And then from here, because it was a template, what we can do is select the item pickup, right click and update template from this. And as you can see, the ones in the background updated as well. So let's just look at that again. I'll just press Control Z. Then we're going to item pick up and update template from this, and they all change. So that's the perks of having templates um, that talk to each other. So that way you can update one thing and it updates the rest. So we're going to drag that into all pickups holder. Press play. As you can see, the eggs are rotating and they look like 
sort of like eggs. And that is a real basics of kit bashing. Uh, so next time we're going to look at kit bashing on a grander scale and also maybe even creating some sort of level layout for players to jump around and actually experience looking around the level and maybe finding hidden hidden eggs or like just making a bit more enjoyable experience. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please smack that like button and please comment below with what your um, single player collectathon game is going to look like, the theme surrounding it and what your pickups currently look like. I'm very interested to see what everyone creates from this uh, this collectathon framework. Uh, so please, yeah, let me know what you're doing down below. And I hope to see you in the next video.